in this free little Squarespace tutorial we're gonna be making a smooth animated transition so when you click on a link to another page or the same page there's a smooth kind of flowing curtain transition and this one's gonna be really easy you're just gonna copy paste the code snippet so I'm gonna show you how to do it how to edit it and then I'm gonna explain how it works uh, let's get started so I've been really focusing on page transitions for Squarespace really excited about those I just released my animated page transitions a plugin this works for all templates this tutorial we're gonna be doing this free one is gonna be only for the brine template on Squarespace 7.0 I also made a full a really long tutorial on how to make essentially the plugin that I have for free it's a 25 minute tutorial so uh, that way you can kind of build any of these custom transitions like these ones uh, if you're kind of a code nerd nerd okay but let's get started on this uh, animation so Brian family Squarespace 7.0 let's go well this is gonna be super easy you're just gonna be copy pasting this plugin code to um, design and custom CSS and once you copy paste the code there so I'm gonna show you without it there is no animation so when I click no sliding animation thing but when I add it here and click Save we get this nice little quick animation so you can edit the settings on this little code snippet so you can choose the color let's say we want it to be black and you can choose the opacity let's turn it up to 90 just so you can see what happens if we adjust these variables so now it's gonna be really dark and really visible all right how about uh, blue at 40 probably not gonna look very good but just an example actually it wasn't that bad I mean it was pretty intense but yeah you can see you can understand the logic so not much else to do copy paste to custom CSS and edit this for the code nerds in there uh, I'm gonna explain how this works because it's actually really interesting for those who find things like these interesting okay so without any of the custom code added when I go to any page on my website you're gonna see this uh, loading bar here on top this kind of white loading bar goes from left to right and it's at site styles we have this uh, show loading bar thing and yeah it's a loading bar so we can actually edit the loading bar to be this kind of like a curtain that smoothly transitions us from one page to another so when we go to the source code we have this loader thing here so when we click this is the loader so let's adjust the height of the loader first so it's normally like five or ten pixels so I'm gonna crank it up to 100 percent uh, 100 VH what is VH it's the viewport height so viewport is this area here the visible kind of you know your browser or your mobile device or whatever and it's gonna be hundred percent of that regardless of how big it is here you can see you know viewport adjusting we can't use pixels because we don't know the size so 100 uh, VH it is uh, let's try it again with that one and now you can see we can edit the loader if we if we would make it like something like uh, 50 then it would obviously be half but we want it to be 100 now we can then edit its kind of um, background color so that is what is going on here in in this uh, code so we are 
editing its height and when it's loading there's going to be this uh, data mercury loading attribute in the in the body element of the HTML so when we look at the body here we can actually kind of fake uh, the loading of the page by going to add attribute and we will add that data mercury loading thing and it has kind of two states whether if it exists then it's going to be at 60%. So it's going to kind of start this animation and and this is going to be kind of a, there's this translate thing that is it, it's just basically doing the animation from, you know, 0% to 100%. So when it's kind of loading, it's at 60%, so it as it's animated, it starts to go from here to here, and once it's done, whoops, I think was it done? Yeah, it it goes all the way. So, using those things in our CSS, we can just edit its background color and fading using these less CSS variables. Now, there's also a custom place unless if you want to do some really complex stuff have like a different style when it's done so that's also possible but yeah uh, really cool little thing I someone was asking about this on the forums and I thought this was this was uh, really interesting so I wanted to make a tutorial for it yeah so copy paste this to your Brian if you're not using Brian then definitely check out my page transitions plugin and I also have a kind of 25 minute tutorial on how to do the, do this for Squarespace 7.1. So I will link that here as well.